What's up guys, welcome back. Trunks Sword of Hope today. So he's kind of like flying forward with that broken sword, but it's got like big sword energy, like coming out of it, even though it's broken. So he's lunging forward, two hands. Let's give this a go. So landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So his head is over on the right, just in this half of my page. So the center point of my page is about there. Come over, down. Right, and we start with that W in the middle of his face that Dragon Ball characters have. So this kind of curvy W, sort of frown, sort of area. It's like a W. And then the eyebrows come out from there. So his head is kind of tilted, right? So that's why we're on the diagonal this way, okay? So it's like, it's not straight up, it's going this way. So then our eyebrows come out from there. Curving up and down. Square end. And then we curve it back and we make sure it gets skinnier as we come back towards that W. Like that. Same thing on the other side. Doesn't have to be exact same, but generally. Curving up and over. And then square end. About the same height, see? And then this comes down, get skinnier into there. So eyes are real wide, typical Dragon Ball eyes. So we have a small line and then a long line and then a kind of curved line that joins them together. Can be curved or straight, usually it's curved. And we do the same thing over here. Small line, long line. And then a curved line joins them together. So it was an iris, so we can see like the full one of this. So it's just like a circle there. And then another one there. We got some brow lines, so like some frowning sort of hatching lines on his brow. Then his nose, so it comes down kind of to the right of center. You sort of bring the bridge of his nose down. And then it kind of hooks around here. Like that. So it's like a fishing hook or something like that. In Dragon Ball, they always draw in the shadow on the side of the nose. So this sort of thing. And he has some like extra wrinkle lines sort of on his nose here. Just coming across. Mouth, so open mouth screaming, right? So this kind of curves down around under his nose, real close to the nose, nearly touching. Could touch as well if you wanted, sometimes they do. And then the side of his mouth comes down, goes around for the bottom lip, and then comes up the side, curves around there. He has some sort of like face lines like some mouth lines i don't know what to call them it's just like stretch lines on the skin and then his teeth so just white top teeth curving around there and then his tongue but the tongue line is also the bottom teeth line right it's so like a line in the middle there and we can see some molars at the back like some lines like this. And his chin is like cut off by his scarf, right? But I think I'll draw in the chin. So just, so we're going down here, right? So we go, hard to see it. So we'll go, we'll go here. We're going that way, right? Just in the picture, the scarf covers his chin, but I'm gonna, I think it's easier for us to do the chin over the scarf. So off from there, jaw goes that way, and then jaw goes this way. And you stop sort of like, see on the corner of his eyes, 
just in line sort of with those roughly because that's where you sort of change direction and go up towards the side of his face or his ears so you're going like up this way nice and on this side they draw in the sort of ear lines it becomes the ear there just a little bump and then just above that we have his sideburns right so these sort of hairlines just on the side like that and then his ears come out from that line go around like that big ears and dragon ball and then more ear lines inside easiest way is like this letter j sort of thing and then check marks on his cheeks forgot those like that so his hairline then here right so he's got like a v in the middle of his forehead And then this will go back to like here and down to the sideburn. Right. And on his face, he's got like lots of scratch marks, you know, because he's been in a fight at this stage. Right, so then we can do like his big Super Saiyan hair. So it's real spiky because he has longer hair. So hair spikes at the front, right? We've got like these long ones that come out here. So just like these two big spikes going that way, right? And then these go down back into the middle. Line right down the center. And then same on the other side. Okay, and under there you've got like texture lines for his hair. Like so. Okay, so we got like some smaller hair spikes coming out of the ear here. They eventually go all up the same direction. Right. Another part here coming out from the middle. We just keep going, keep adding them. So another one coming right up the center there, and then another one here, and then this side, and then there's all ones in between. So like there, one here, just filling in the gaps. Okay, and you can add textures all over them. So you just add lines like this that just follow each hair spike. And you can do as much of this as you'd like. Basically like that. So, scarf and shoulder and arms and stuff. So his scarf comes around his neck. We can see a little bit of his neck like here, right? And then we're gonna draw the scarf coming out from under his chin. 
we'll have like another line going that way. And then just kind of bump it around here. It's kind of flying off and it's kind of torn at the end. So it's got these like spiky, raggedy sections, right? So like all these sort of things around here. Texture lines. Like so. Okay, so we've two arms holding the sword going this direction, right? So we can see his back line just there. And in his clothing, right? So we've got like all these bumps and stuff on them. Let me just go in this way. And he seems to have a tear in his clothing here. And then his arm keeps going. This is like his denim capsule corp jacket, right? So he got all these bumps on the arm, right? It's important to do these bumps because it makes it look like fabric. And then he has like the wrist. So if you've ever worn a denim jacket, they have these sort of cuff, sort of wrist like things on them. Just the ends of the sleeve. Like that. And like, is that a belt? I'm not sure. I think there's like a belt here. Seems to like go around this way. It kind of disappears under this. And then there's a strap. And then his pants goes like down that way. Ryan, his pants on this side just goes off here. And then body in there. Just some lines just to show. There's a green strap that goes that way and it attaches to the hilt of his sword. So that's his like body position, leaning forward. And we can just see the other shoulder this side coming down that way and then like his forearm in here again another arm this way and like denim sleeve here with all these lines on them right so two hands and then the sword and like the scabbard of the sword sort of hangs down back here so you can just see the back of this coming down this way and we have capsule corp here right so two c's one and then a bigger one around it yep and it doesn't have to be perfect now. Because clothing always makes these things kind of bumpy and, you know, all over the place. CC. And then I think there's another C, not a C, but like a white circle around it. Like that. Okay, hands. So, hands in Dragon Ball aren't too bad to draw. So let's zoom in. I'll zoom in and do the hands. So this hand is on top of the other one. So we'll start with this one first. So the back of his hand goes up to a knuckle. Change direction for the knuckle, goes down. Change direction for that knuckle, there. Next knuckle, down. 
one like that and then the next one there and then finally his pinky one two how many can i see one two three four fingers pinky down there and then the handle of the sword is like just here because his little finger goes around it so then you can see like these skin folds just for like the palm of his hand and then the other side of the handle of the sword is here like another sort of knuckle line or something that way so his other hand on top right so we can see little finger ring finger just these bumps middle finger and then index finger right so each of these is like a finger and they go behind his thumb his thumb is just like here We got a thumbnail on top, palm of his hand, going underneath the handle for the sword, which is just lines up with the bottom that we drew, like there. And then his little finger just here. like so and you can put knuckle lines and stuff on anything you want kind of like that so then that's the hands basically do 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 Right, so then the rest of the sword. So we have like a silver, like it's a big sword, right? It's crazy. So it's got like a silver ball on the handle here, which kind of comes out and down this way. And it's got like a big oval on the end. And then some lines that show some edges of things like that right and then this comes out up here somewhere so between the index and the thumb we have another oval-ish silver thing <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm describing this great oval silver thing but it's like that shape right and then the hilt is here the the metal plate right comes out horizontally this way and then it goes diagonal there diagonal there and then a sort of a square end like the other side we go in down in down and then we go across, hit pause now if I go too fast, right? Across like that. And then this has an edge line on top. It makes it look a little bit three dimensional. There, and then some edge lines like so. So the broken sword itself, you can use a ruler for this part if you want to keep things super straight, but if not, we'll just go it kind of in, stops in line with his shoulder, so like there. So we'll go. It's wider down the bottom. Into there. Back up. Then down. And then there seems to be a line down the middle. 
another sort of line in here, right? So that's the sword without sort of the sort of energy that it's wrapped in, right? So you just got to give it kind of an aura, right? So it's like you have a ghost of the sword here, right? So on the inside, it's like sort of like a dark blue that makes it look like a sword. And then coming around here, right? You've got like this big line like that, right? So these big aura energy kind of just going around, right? There's lots of different ways of doing this, of course. So it's kind of up to you what way you want to. Right, and we'll stop it at his hands. Sort of coming around here. Right, and that's like white and then there's dark blue and then you can have like these electrical things more energy sort of things coming around here you can do as much of that as you want all coming off the sword maybe onto his hair there of course if you go onto his body or anything you have to raise some lines when you're coloring like so right i think that'll do trunks sort of hope Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.